Hi, let's learn how to create interactive team introduction slides in PowerPoint using Morph Transition. The way this slide set works is we have five executives and there are some basic details about those executives given here. I can click on any of the executives like say this one and you can see that the details about that person is revealed here, the name and the details. The same way when I click here, this person's photo goes here and the details are shown. I can click on this and the person's photo and the details and here and I can see that at any point of time, I can click on any of the photos and the details of the executive will be shown. It's a very beautiful way to present your team and it's a useful trick that you should learn. If you are a technical presenter and you want to talk about the different parts of a machine and the details here, you can always place the various pictures of the different parts and you can give the explanation here. There are quite a few applications for this simple design. Let us learn how to do this from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. The first thing I'm going to do is to give this slide a dark gray background. So let us use right click, go to format background and then choose something like this. The next step is to create a text placeholder where you can give details about the executive. Here I have placed the text placeholder. The way I did this is I went to Auto Shapes Gallery, used a rectangle shape like this and then filled it with texture. Now, how do you fill a shape with texture? I've already created a YouTube video called How to Create Textured Backgrounds in PowerPoint. I will leave a link to that in the description box below and also in the iCard. So you can click and watch that video to understand the technique. It's a very simple technique. Next, I created these semi-transparent tapes to add visual interest to this text placeholder. Now, if you want to learn how to create these semi-transparent tapes, which are quite useful in any of your presentations, then you can find the relevant tutorial here called How to Create Semi-Transparent Tape in PowerPoint. I will leave a link to this as well in the description and in the iCard. Click on it and watch that video. The next step is to create a circle here so we are able to place our image of the executive. Now this is fairly easy. You go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Basic Shapes you can pick up the Oval tool, hold the Shift button down and draw a circle and then use a thick white outline like so. Next let us place a rectangle here. So that will serve as the placeholder for the photos. Let me make this slightly darker so we can clearly differentiate this from this background. Now we have got our base design. Let us make four more copies of this slide. Right click, go to duplicate slide and then hit F4 which is the shortcut for repeating the last action. Let me hit F4 once, twice and thrice. Now you can see we have five of these slides available with the same kind of a background. Then of course I ensured that the details of the individual executives are written on the various text placeholders. Can you see here this is the first one Abraham, second is Bob, Kathy, David and Emily. So the details of these executives are written in the text placeholder. Now let us go all the way to the top to Abraham and then create a prototype of linked images. Before that let us mark the places where we will be sticking the photos. You do that by placing five white circles. This will be the place where we will have the pictures of the executives. Then stick the circularly cropped images of these executives. I took these five stock images from pixabay.com, cropped them in a circular shape. To learn how to crop a photo in a circular shape, you can always refer to our earlier tutorial on PowerPoint crop picture in circular shape effects series. I will leave a link to this tutorial in the description box below the video and also in the iCard. You can click and learn that technique as well. Now the next step is to create relevant hyperlinks. So when we click on the relevant image, it takes us to the corresponding text placeholder. So let us select this one. Whenever I click on this link, it needs to take me to slide number one. So let us use the shortcut called Control K which is the shortcut for hyperlink. Then go to place in this document option. Go to slide one because that is where we want the link to go. 
and we say OK. So clicking this will lead us back to the same first slide. Let us do that for the second one. Press Ctrl K shortcut and this should take us to slide 2 because that is the details of the second executive and then press Ctrl K and this needs to connect to slide 3 and say OK. This needs to connect to slide 4. OK. And then this needs to connect to slide number 5 and OK. So all of these are available in place in this document and you say OK. Now that we have got our linked images, we can copy these images on the various slides. So let us select all these images, press Ctrl C and then stick them on the different slides. Done. Then let us go all the way to the first slide and here we need to have Abraham's details shown. So we need to have the photo of Abraham moved from here to this place here which is the place where it is right in the middle. Then let us go to the second slide. We need to have the photo of Bob placed in the right place. You can use the smart guide to see if you are able to place this image exactly in the center point. Then in the next one, I am going to place the image of Kathy. Next one, we will place the image of David. And the last one, we will place the image of Emily. So let us go to slideshow and see if we are able to have the photos linked correctly. So go to slideshow. Let us click on Kathy and Kathy's details are shown. Let us click on Emily. Emily's details are shown. David, Abraham, Bob, everything is beautiful. Now the only issue that we need to address is we need to have the movement across the various slides pretty smooth. For that we are going to use more transition. So let us select all of the slides. Press Ctrl A. Go to transitions and apply morph transition. Now let us see the magic unfold. Let us go to the first slide. Go to slideshow and you can see that we have details of Abraham shown. On clicking this we have details of Kathy shown. Emily shown, David shown and Bob shown. If you don't want the audience to click on any other place, you can always do that by going to the transitions option and say advanced slide and uncheck this option called on mouse click. So the audience has no other option than to click on these links. To make sure that every other slide has the same effect, you can go to apply to all option and that will ensure that even if the audience clicks on any other place, there will not be any effect. Only when they click on the relevant links, they will have the corresponding details shown. So that is how you create a beautiful interactive team intro slide set using Morph Transition in PowerPoint. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.